Celtic has a 3-1 defeat today. What did you make of that game? Um, it was a it was a game of two halves really. First half, first half for whatever reason, and um, we've, we've trained well, we've prepped well. We know what Bradford's about. Um, we know what we're going to do <coughs> in possession and, and out of possession. How how to try and prevent them playing out because they're they're a good team. Um, but for for some reason, for the first half we we didn't really turn up. Um, we we kept turning the ball over. If we, if we won it back, we'd give the first pass away constantly by um, poor individual make, uh, decision making. Um, they they played really well, but they didn't really create that much by opening us up. Whatever chances they got came from turnover of possessions in the mid third, really, or, or our defensive third, where we we just wasn't um, clean enough on in possession and. and Clear enough in decision making, and you know, do too many touches on the ball because because maybe the individual hasn't got a picture where to go. So we we made it really hard for ourselves, um, and ultimately we, we we didn't win our individual battles. We didn't work hard enough individually or collectively first half, and it took a bit of a stern conversation with them at half time to for a reaction again. By that time, we're two 0 down, and the two goals again are comical really from a defensive point of view they haven't had to they haven't had to earn the goals at all um, which is really frustrating um, and then second half we roll our sleeves up realise that we're playing against a technically good team but we haven't really we haven't really tested them physically at all and, and then we start winning uh, our individual battles we start playing higher up the pitch on the front foot with more intensity in the press forcing them into errors and it's a totally different game for 15 minutes we're, we've probably got six or seven corners really playing in their half on, uh, playing decent and uh, just, just a bit more aggressive making the game a little bit more ugly and, and that suits us at the minute that suits us at the minute because our passing and our technique at the minute is not, not to the level not to the level required really um, so we made, yeah, so we made it ugly, and we were the better team, dominant. And then one, one error, one error, probably an hour in, and they and they score the third again. When when one of our boys should should win a tackle, a physical, you know, you've got a tackle in football. Uh, it, we're just like a bit, bit passive in our tackling, just dangle a foot in, and they take the ball. And and again, we've we've gifted them a third goal from nowhere, and they hadn't really been in our half for 15 minutes. Um, but then, but then we, we keep we keep getting at it, and we've created another couple of good chances. We create two or three good overloads where we found the spare man, and we got the goal back in Will Hollins. Good finish. Um, we get the penalty. Uh, Jack it, Jack puts the penalty away to make it three two. Then it's a, it would be an exciting end to the game. But the goalie makes a good save, and the goalie made three really good saves from set plays when Bobby Faulkner got freed up at, at the back post, a corner we work on regularly, and. Uh, he made two or three really good saves from from his headers. Personally, you probably should have scored one of them, but you've got to say it was it was good saves as well. Um, and we missed a couple of good chances. We we had to we really worked probably five or six good chances today from our individual good play, from our good set plays, from our good play in open play. Most of the chances Bradford created was was us was us gifting them possession in in, in dangerous areas and. That's where we've got to learn, really. Do, do we do we try and overplay, or do we just need to be a bit more, um, have, show more composure on the ball? When when we win it back, we need to show more composure in the first and second pass to control the game. It's turning over too quick again, and then we're out of shape, and they're punishing us really. But but it's a result that, that we should have avoided. Really, uh, we give ourselves a mountain to climb again, and we play really well once we're two down again, which. It's, it's, it's not a good pattern and, and I don't want it to continue I said to the lads you have to be able to play like that at nil-nil so can we start the game more aggressive more on the front foot and when, we, when we do that we, we, we really make a game of it and, and we're, not an e we're not an easy game for anyone um, so lots to, lots to work on lots to, to improve on um, but ultimately we're killing ourselves a little bit at the minute with, with some individual errors and collectively not being composed enough on the ball.
And next week you've got Oldham and you're already out of the cup competition but you've still got to play the game what kind of team will you be selecting next week? Well obviously we're low on numbers as well aren't we? We had one sub today uh, centre back in Charlie Petch and Michael Nesbitt gets injured during the game a centre back so it's we're down to 11 players it's crazy we've got one lad one lad a bit uh, ill at home and eight injuries now so it's, it's one of them things the lads are going to get good game time 90 minutes and We'll bring a few under-16s in as well if we don't get any, anyone back fit. It's, it's not a problem, it, it's just development football. Some of the younger ones are going to get opportunities before they thought they would. And it's, it's good for their development. Um, it's, it's not great at the minute for our, our results. If you look at the results, obviously, obviously I want to win games and the lads want to win games. You know, It breeds confidence and, and we want to... We want to develop them, but we also want to develop a winning mentality and not enjoy losing because it's important for them to, to take that forward into their life and their career, whatever, the football career or whatever path they go down. Um, but it, it's not it, it's not the be all and end all at under eighteen football, but it's it's certainly a habit you don't want to you don't want to keep losing. Um, but we'll, at the minute, I'll, I'll take giving younger players an opportunity over over winning winning one game but then it, it's it's a good opportunity next week for probably five or six under 16s to to maybe get in the under 18 squad and, and get some game time next week i think if you look at the table as well excluding rather early leaders all the other teams in our division are having similar form to us where they've won just as many as they've lost yeah but most people can be can be each other can't they it's just finding that little bit of consistency um we like I say, we, we'll we'll keep we'll keep working, we'll keep preparing like we do and, and like we should, and we'll we'll get it right eventually. Um, I think the players need to take a little bit, um, a bit, little bit more responsibility now, individually and collectively, and uh, you know take some onus on on their their career and, and, and where they want to be because of them. Because at the minute there's a couple, there's there's, there's a few a few that are letting themselves down at the minute and, and not playing to their capability, probably not working hard enough and it's important that we support them and don't, some of them you can see their confidence is dropping a bit so we'll, we'll try our utmost to, to help them with that and make sure that they, they, they get through that but you know they have to buy into it as well themselves and, and just keep working through it and work as hard as they can and and they'll come out the other side um, and, and hopefully that can happen sooner than later because we don't want to get used to, to losing games of football um, more importantly not competing for 45 minutes that, that's the, that was the biggest disappointment because you know they're an honest bunch of lads in there but for, for some reason they're, they only start playing at the minute when, when we go behind which, which isn't a good trait to have.